We're back with the Hawaii Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard. She just resigned her post as a vice chair of the Democratic National Committee. She's endorsing Senator Bernie Sanders for president of the United States. Uh, Congresswoman, why now after that crushing loss in South Carolina? What motivated you to do it now? Because some people think it might be too late. Well, you know, there's a clear choice, uh, Wolf, between our two Democratic candidates. Uh, our, our most important quali uh, quality in our president is their job as a commander in chief. Uh, as a soldier and as a war veteran, I know firsthand the cost of war. In my deployment to Iraq, I worked in a medical unit where every single day I saw and experienced that high human cost uh, every single day. Uh, Bernie Sanders has good judgment and foresight to be able to make decisions about where America should deploy its military power and where it shouldn't deploy its military power. We see a clear contrast with that with Hillary Clinton, who has shown through her record uh, her interventionist uh, wars of regime change. Start with Iraq. She voted for and championed the overthrow of Saddam you and the war in Iraq. Iraq. I did serve in Iraq, and I, again, I saw the cost of that overseas, and we're still experiencing the cost of that economically here at home. Number two, Libya. She was the chief architect within the Obama administration to overthrow Gaddafi in Libya. What's the result? We see a failed state. We see chaos, human suffering, loss of life, and uh, ISIS and Al-Qaeda having a, a very str uh, strong stronghold there in Libya. Number three, Syria. She has been a champion for and, and uh, a strong advocate for the overthrow of the Syrian government of Assad and promises to escalate that war with a so-called no-fly zone if she's elected president. So you don't have president. confidence that she would be a good commander-in-chief? Her judgment is the issue. And as a soldier and a veteran, I do not have confidence in her ability to be a commander-in-chief because she would, as she has stated, continue to take us into these interventionist wars of regime change that have cost our country dearly in trillions of dollars, thousands of American lives lost, what to speak of the hundreds of thousands of lives lost in the Middle East. What's Bernie Sanders' biggest accomplishment from your perspective? Uh, well, when we're talking about the issues of war and peace, I can speak very specifically, obviously, to his vote against the Iraq War, uh, which is the greatest failure in foreign policy uh, in my generation. And looking forward now, he's been very vocal in speaking out against these interventionist wars of regime change because he understands what the cost is and the necessity to have foresight, to have this military mindset where you look beyond and answer the question, what happens next? What are the consequences of these actions? And we have to know that before we take those actions. And that's the most important thing that we need in our commander. How hard was it for you as a woman to say, you know what, I'm not going to support, at least at this point, the first woman president of the United States? Well, you know, there, there are so many different issues in this particular uh, one, the issue of war and peace. It's not just like all the rest. War is very real. War is the issue um, that we should be asking about in these candidates for co who are asking to be our commander in chief. Because the, the cost is not only on our troops, on our military families and those who are sacrificing their lives, the cost is here at home with our economy and with our ability to execute these important domestic programs and policies to rebuild our nation here at home. So when you look at this question of war and peace, there is such a clear difference between these two candidates. The choice was very obvious for me to be able to support and endorse Bernie Sanders. I'm sure he's grateful to you for that support. Uh, Congressman Tulsi Gabbard, thanks very much for coming in. Thank you very much, Wolf.